When it comes to water use in our society, we pretty much use it for two things, cleaning and consumption. But I think we're completely overlooking another use that's entirely different. Hey, it's Jay, this is Plasma Channel. Now, although rather poorly, water conducts electricity. This is not new news. But unlike copper wire, it can flow, it can crash, it can change shape altogether, and it can be moved and removed entirely using nothing but valves. Think about that for a second. So I pose the question, is it plausible that we can use water as a controlled medium to transfer electrical power? More specifically, to transmit wireless power, a bit like Wi-Fi, to nearby devices. I know, totally mental, and it sounds like I've been huffing just a little bit too much ozone off the big Genesis over there, but this video truly is just an exploration into that possibility. Here's why that's not actually crazy. Shooting my last video on ozone sterilization, I noticed something wicked cool. You see, this device utilizes a water-filled plate attached to high voltage to capacitively couple energy to nearby objects. That's why you see the purple streaks and this purple corona next to my skin. It's pretty cool. Now, when I brought any light sources near the plate, they lit up. Light bulbs, fluorescent tubes, neon lights, the gamut. So, in essence, the sheet of water acted as a wireless power transmitter itself. Pretty crazy stuff. Seeing them light up essentially showed that the idea of spreading wireless power using water may not be that crazy after all. And considering water takes on any shape that you want it to, you might as well put it into a pipe and treat that pipe like a wire. You see where I'm going? So today I've got a couple lengths of acrylic tubing that I'm gonna go ahead and cut up, do some work on, and here's the plan. I've gone ahead and built a simple water distribution system using a reservoir, acrylic pipes, and plastic valves. The reservoir is attached electrically to a high voltage, high frequency power source, and there are various light bulbs near the distal ends. Notice they're not attached. I plan to test this system to see if water can be used to distribute electrical power in controlled locations, whether it be through wireless power or direct connection. I added copper end caps to allow for that direct connection. Now there's two separate valves to control each of the two halves. The left side will have two lights and the right side will be a bit further away with one single light. My ultimate goal is to be able to turn on and off each set of lights individually using those valves. Before we go any further, a quick note about safety. You like living, right? Me too! That means we have something in common, so let's leave the combining of water and high voltage to the professional idiots like this guy. Don't do this at home. Right, with the power source attached and opening the left valve, we've got light! Not sure why it flickers though, but closing the valve, it mostly turns off. On, off, on, off. And leaving the valve open but varying the power instead, both lights can be wirelessly dimmed. Opening the valve on the right side, and we've got light from the fluorescent tube. Looks like it's a bit too close. Closing the valve, no light. Light, no light. Notice these lights in the background, they remained on because their separate valve is still open. Now with both valves open, all the lights can be wirelessly dimmed at the same time. Pretty cool. Like before, this is through varying the power. But direct connection provides the most power, so this light bulb is directly attached to the copper end cap, and you can see just how hot those arcs are. When I touch it, the lights dim because most of the energy leaks out of the system, goes through my fingers and into ground. All right, so it works. You just saw a wireless power distribution system using nothing but water, pipes, and valves. I think that's really, really cool. Um, now, one of the things that really surprises me is just how effective this wireless power is at a distance. Check this out. Sitting on the table about a foot away is a larger fluorescent tube. You can see just how much bigger this one is. Well, up close, it's super bright, but it still lights up about six, seven, eight feet away. I honestly was a bit shocked because I didn't expect it to go out that far. I expected a couple of feet. I can't emphasize enough how cool this is in person, and it should be obvious by now that this system, it has some potential. But you might be asking, okay, well, what's the physics behind this? How is this wireless power transfer happening? Well, those of you who have followed my channel for a while might be familiar with the term capacitive coupling. Look, you'd have to be a soulless Susie to not find this interesting, so check this out. This plasma globe is turned off, yet it's still lit, it's still functioning. How is that? because capacitive coupling is the transfer of AC electricity between two physically unconnected circuits, primarily due to induced currents. 
The high voltage AC in the water is inducing a current in the plasma globe. But this type of energy transfer degrades with distance pretty quickly though, and its strength at any given distance can be predicted using the inverse square law. Wicked cool, right? That's the science behind how the system transfers energy to nearby devices. And because of the piping system, the wireless power can be directed. Now, keeping in mind this is a fully hypothetical system, here's a couple of uses I do see this being applicable for. Selective wireless power. Whether in a large room or individual spots throughout a park, turning a handle would allow localized wireless charging. Functional Zen. Imagine an outdoor cafe that has an aqueduct of water running right through the middle of it, and the water radiates wireless power to all the tables. I'd call it Capacitance Cafe. And all the customers would be nerds. Being realistic, this system has tons of flaws to include dangerous voltages and exploding water pipes. So yeah, it's really just a novelty. However, since nobody has used plastic valves and acrylic pipes to transfer wireless power before, this is a new method. So I dub it Bowles Transmission. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it got some gears turning. I'd love to know your thoughts on the whole project, so leave a comment down below. In particular, I wanna know your thoughts on why you think those two fluorescent tubes on the left-hand side stayed slightly lit despite turning the valve off. I know the answer, but I wanna hear your thoughts. Also, thank you to everybody who chooses to support my work through Patreon. You make a huge difference. So if you'd like to encourage longer, more frequent uploads, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks a bunch. Plasma Channel out. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.